Alright guys, and here's the finished product. We have our photo bioreactor completely installed and up and running. Uh, as you'll see, we have two cultures now of each of the four species of freshwater algae. And the reason I got four species of algae is just because I wanted to test out which one was the most prolific which one reproduced best under the conditions that I have here and uh, so I went ahead and picked up the four pack that Carolina Biologic had. Um, as you can see I have a starter culture going in uh, what's probably almost a one liter bottle and then I just transferred half of that over into uh, a two liter bottle here. Uh, both bottles work and uh, as you can see the tops are a little bit different as well. Uh, essentially what we're doing is we're putting a rigid airline almost all the way down to the bottom uh, of that container and then with the clothespin we're keeping it suspended so it's not touching the bottom uh, of that container and uh, with the bottle cap we're doing the same thing. Uh, we do have the small uniseals here which is helping to keep those airlines in place and uh, this is an open top. You could put a cotton ball over the top if you wanted to. Um, this one has a snorkel to allow the, uh, the air pressure to escape uh, out the other end. Uh, all in all, if this one was completely filled, it would be bubbling out and spitting uh, algae all over the place. If this one was almost completely filled, it wouldn't have a problem because this would allow the, uh, the water to drip back down uh, into that bottle. So the 2 liter bottle is what I'm going with as a long term solution. but. Uh, because I got the algae originally in a small vial, uh, I didn't want to dilute the starter culture too much. So I started with, uh, you know, 500 milliliters or whatever that volume is, and uh, I slowly scaled up. So in another week, I'll probably be able to fill this two-liter bottle. In another week, I'll be able to replace this bottle with a second two-liter bottle, and I'll have two cultures going, uh, two liters each of each of those uh, species. Now if you're interested in freshwater algae uh, go ahead and post a reply down in the comments or uh, send me a private message if you'd like. I will be selling this sooner rather than later uh, because I'm assuming I'm going to be creating too much of it for my own needs so definitely hit me up if you're interested in any of these four species but if you're looking for just one if you're interested in just one what I would recommend is the chlorella. Uh, it's basically your bread and butter when it comes to freshwater algae. Uh, here's what it looks like over here. And uh, it's actually the subject of quite a bit of experimentation, a lot of studies, and uh, it's, it's considered a superfood uh, in basically across the world. Um, and that's because it has a very high protein count, very high fat count, and uh, it's basically the only thing you would need to feed something like a Daphnia uh, in order for that animal to thrive, in order for that to be gut loaded, uh, which you can then use to feed your fish. Interestingly enough, they sell this stuff as a supplement for, for humans to take in pill form and powder form as well. So um, it's. Uh, it's quite the big deal. So if you were going to go with one, this is probably the one I would recommend. So far, in terms of what I've seen, uh, this is the one that's actually given me the uh, best uh, amount of algae so far, at least the darkest color um, in the bottle so far. And uh, of the four, this is the one that uh, has underperformed the most thus far. Again, I try to keep these suspended by uh, shaking them up a little bit, stirring them up once a day to make sure that nothing gets stuck down in the bottom. And uh, as you can see, I have it on a, a shelf here down in the basement, and uh, I've got it under basically a, you know, a cool white uh, fluorescent light, which is about six to eight inches above the top of those bottles. Uh, no heat required, really, as long as it doesn't get too hot or too cold. The algae will do fine. And uh, so far, that seems to be the case down here in the basement. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed.
Hope you liked the little science project, and if you're interested in some algae, let me know.